Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with my Raspberry Pi 3 running RetroPie 4.1 with a track mode 2.2 on top of it. That was a mouthful, but it's well worth it guys. So right now I am actually using Flob's version, but I updated to a track mode 2.2 and the newest version of RetroPie, which is 4.1. I will leave a link to his YouTube page down below because this guy is amazing. I have learned a lot from him. So it doesn't really look like much, but this isn't how the system boots up. Let's go over here. So this is my game room. This is Super Nintendo. I have pretty much every Super Nintendo ROM, and I'm actually going to go through this because I won't play a quarter of these. I don't want this many ROMs. It's just too much to go through. But this looks amazing in my opinion. Now, I don't have everything completely set up. I have three emulators right now. I've been working on it for the last two hours, trying to get everything correct. I have a few themes installed, but I love this neon theme. This is the game room here. So this is Super Nintendo, and we can launch them directly from within here. Let's just go to Top Gear 2, and I'm going to launch the game. I'm using a wireless PS3 controller. So as you can see, the game launches. If I press Start and Select, it'll bring me right back into the track mode. So you can scroll through here and you got tons and tons of games here. So if you notice at the very bottom there, we can turn that off if we want, but I really like to see the date and the name of the game and stuff like that. A little bit of game information. Next up, we have Neo Geo. This is my arcade room here. This is just dedicated to Neo Geo. And it looks amazing. I got one more that I've already set up, which is Game Boy Advanced. And this is my handheld console room. So this is a neon theme that I found, and I'm not exactly sure who it's by. A few people have worked on it, have messed with it. If I knew the exact person, I would definitely give them credit right now, and I'll look into that. If you do know who this is by, let me know, and I will leave credits in the description. So yeah, Game Boy Advanced. This is awesome, guys. Flop does have a version you can download. Now, you're going to need to set up a lot of stuff. He actually created a version with artwork. It's about 17 gigabytes, and you need to download it through Mega. It took me two days to download it because Mega has a limit, and I don't have an account with Mega. But what I did was I got his smaller version, which is 0 0.5, and I added my own artwork and my own ROMs. It does not come with ROMs at all, so do not ask. But if you're into the Raspberry Pi, running RetroPie, you know where to get your ROMs and you may already have a good collection built up. So what I was thinking of doing was getting permission from Flob to release a version with a bunch of themes built in and artwork, and I will definitely upload it to a torrent site so it's easier to download. Give me a few days on this, and I want to set it up with as many emulators as I can, and you're probably going to need at least a 64 gigabyte SD card. There will be no ROMs included, only artwork and themes. So if you guys want that, let me know in the comments below. This is really awesome. It's perfect for a small tabletop arcade cabinet. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe, and keep an eye out because tomorrow I'm going to probably post some more videos on this. I want to add some more stuff to it and get it just right. Like always, thanks for watching.